How's it going, everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Monster Tamer News in 2021. This year has been an absolute treat as far as the growth of both the genre and the channel are concerned, and I just wanted to say thank you all so much for the support thus far. I'm going to continue to strive for even more notoriety and acceptance for the genre, and who knows, maybe we'll finally be able to shed that dirty Pokemon clone label as well. I have two very special videos planned, one for the end of the year and one for the beginning of the year. The first will act as a retrospective much like we did for 2020 and the second will be a what to expect for 2022 type video where we basically put together all the major upcoming updates and then sort of have it out in order the first video will also be interesting because we'll be able to compare it to what i did with my what to expect from 2021 video so we can see what sort of delays occurred and stuff like that as well anyways that said we have a pretty awesome week that includes but is not limited to some new evo creo news regarding its launch and a statement from the devs the release of the Drugimon battle demo, which I've been waiting for extensively, a new Malice and Greed content update, tons of new monster reveals from the various games in which we cover, and much more. That said, as per the usual, and for one last time in 2021, make sure to sit back, relax, and for Mr. B, get ready to squeeze it out, buddy. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I've been really excited to play the Drugimon Battle Alpha, and I'm happy to say that it's finally out, and Yathis, aka the developer, has been hard at work adding new areas and drug users to fight against via new updates. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I'm personally excited for Drugimon. Number one is the pure hilarity and meme potential of this game. Like, we got parody characters for Seto Kaiba, Light Yagami, Red, even Ronald McDonald, and just some of the basic stuff in the game's hilarious. For example, one of the battle areas is a laundry mat like come on stop this but more so than that the game actually has quite the aesthetically pleasing pixel art style if you're a fan of the game boy color era of games and the battle sequences and animations seem to be on point i know the premise of drug monsters seems a little silly at face value but truly give this game a chance the dev is really working hard to make this not just a funny and meme heavy game but also a really good one expect a video or stream going over this alpha very soon untamed isles recently got its steam page which is definitely exciting because now we can wishlist it. Link below by the way. I think they did a really good job explaining exactly what the game is in their little blurb about it on Steam, so I'm gonna read it off for you guys real quick. Untamed Isles is a monster hunting and taming turn-based MMORPG. Untamed Isles provides a living, breathing world where you can witness friends and other players' activities in real time, such as fighting, training, breeding, etc. Untamed Isles is a game that rewards players for their achievements and to show them off publicly, whether it be rare monsters, items, competitive rating, ranking, achievements, player housing, and much more. The entire world is open for to explore focusing on social engagement the level design will create unique areas for friends to gather practice pvp trade breed monsters clear dungeons and play through the story of untamed isles socially with an open voice proximity communication untamed isles will be launching on pc and mac with open early access targeted for early 2022 and will be purchasable through steam we got a new update for bot world adventure this week which brought forth a brand new bot named sheller a splasher if you will this bot does not rely on accuracy but instead and i quote firepower on screen now you can see some of its abilities and such this is definitely one of the games i want to cover more in 2022 as honestly it's a ton of fun based off of the time I've spent with it. Actually while we're here let me know in the comments which games you'd like to see me cover more next year. Okay, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, and I told you I was checking the Discord every week for news despite months of quietness. What I'm talking about, of course, is Evo Crow 2 and the latest announcement regarding the game's launch and beta coming out. So firstly, Evo Crow 2 was initially planned for 2021, but obviously that didn't happen after a couple delays, and now we've got confirmation that the game will be launching in 2022, though we don't have an exact window just yet. They do say in a post that they're confident that next year will be it, so that's great. But what I'm most intrigued about, however, is the fact that they've confirmed a beta that will take place in the springtime of 2022, after which they'll discuss the release date. This to me means we should expect the game in the second half of 2022, at the earliest, around the holidays at the latest. As always, I will keep you guys updated moving forward, and if the beta is something that we can publicly showcase, I definitely will be doing that as well. The latest Malice and Greed update is live and brings forth a couple new interesting mechanic, 
in the form of mantras and demonic skills. Mantras are essentially abilities that can be used outside of battle. For example, you have mantras that can teleport you around the map or allow a boost in the next battle, like moving first, etc. Demonic skills, on the other hand, are powerful abilities that can be utilized whilst in your demon state. These include the perks you see here. We also got two new endgame bosses, being Bill and Jeff, which were added to the game, making for three total at this point. Six new skills were added as well. I definitely want to get back into the game after playing SMT5, so I could definitely see myself jumping into it in the near future. Again, this is a really fun game to stream in my opinion. Alright guys, now we're going to be shifting over to the rapid fire segment of today's video for the quicker updates that don't require a lengthy explanation. First up, we got a new cassette beast named Grampus. I'm really hoping for tons of cassette beast news in the new year personally, so fingers crossed. We have some new screenshots for Trails of Sunder. Like I said last week, expect a showcase for this game in the new year. We got news that SMT5's soundtrack will be launching on March 30th, 2022. Here we see a new battle intro for new monsters. We get to see some new screenshots for Guild of Dragons. Here we get to see the snow area for Zokai. Monster Crown is receiving a little facelift for some of its overworld sprites. Here are some of those improvements. This is the Caller's Hall in Myth Caller. We've got a brand new Gremlin for Gremlin's Tail being Slipperella. Some new planos for Final Stardust. A ton of new monsters for Necromancer's Gift. A new Cubers for Cubers, dubbed Duran. A new disc creature called Jacko Sock. Here we see Serene Fate working on Steam Deck, which let me just say, Mon devs, please get your games on Steam Deck for me. The Eternal Exodus dev, who will be on Steam Deck by the way, is planning on opening up a beta test for the game on Steam via its tester feature. The latest ReLegend Kickstarter update is promising a QA test in January and a 2022 launch despite recent delays. And last but not least, we got a new clip for Gorit showcasing the enemies dubbed Rockroy. And there you go, guys, the final Monster Tamer news of the year. Thanks so much again for all the support. It really means the world to me. I just wanted to say special thanks to everybody that helps out, everybody that shares news with me, my Discord team, mods especially do a great job. I seriously could not run the Discord without them. The Discord would be a complete mess, complete cesspool of chaos if it wasn't for them. So thank you guys so much if you're watching. And you, the viewer, again, thank you guys so much. You guys are sexy as hell. That said, if you do want to stay up to date on the genre, this is definitely the place to be. So make sure to subscribe because we got new monster team videos coming out every single day. I've also got tons of plans for 2022 and I hope you'll tag along for this epic monster taming journey. You can also check out my Twitter and Discord if that interests you which will be linked below and special thanks to my patrons as well especially Steelcase and Jim Hamilton our mythical backers. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.